to 10. I'm Patrick Nolan along with four in your corners, Deborah Souverain. She is live at this CVS pharmacy in Fort Myers Beach where Ryan Thomas worked until he got arrested. Deborah. Patrick, 900 pills went missing from the pharmacy here. They were all forms of Tylenol with codeine. I spoke to a pharmacist who is not affiliated with this pharmacy who tells me those painkillers are valuable on the street, especially when they're purchased in bulk. Nearly a thousand prescription opioid painkillers swiped off the shelves of the pharmacy at this Fort Myers Beach CVS, and police say this pharmacist is behind it. According to this arrest report, pharmacist Ryan Thomas was caught on camera removing four bottles of suspected Tylenol 4 off the shelf. Further investigations revealed Thomas submitted an order for 400 tablets of painkillers, something that set off a red flag to managers. I showed the report to pharmacist TJ DiPolo at Cypress Pharmacy in Fort Myers. 400 in one shot. That, yeah. That's very unusual. DiPolo uses the same pharmaceutical supplier as the CVS. It's a big difference between over-the-counter Tylenol. It's got codeine, which has high addiction potential to it. Investigators say Thomas also ordered large amounts of Tylenol-3. It's a lower dosage codeine painkiller. The one that stands out the most is the Tylenol number four, because mm -hmm. that's the one that would, that's the one that has abuse potential. That's the one that has street value to it. DePola says orders of controlled substances are tracked from the time they leave the manufacturing lab to avoid fraud. It's a prescription narcotic, which is tracked by the pill. Forget about the bottle. They want another countdown to the pill. So all of a sudden you have 400 tablets missing. That has to match the inventory. A discrepancy in the inventory is exactly how Thomas was caught. A loss prevention manager says it was the large order of Tylenol 4 that put Thomas on their radar. DePolo says bigger orders of painkillers guarantees they come in their original bottles, which makes a big difference on the streets. Because they're in their original bottle and they, they know the source. So stock bottles always have more value on the street than a prescription bottle. Now, investigators say Thomas was also caught writing fake prescriptions here, and they believe that he was using those fake prescriptions to sneak painkillers out of the store. Now, he's facing several charges tonight, including fraud and grand theft. Live on Fort Myers Beach, Deborah Souverain, Fox 4, in your corner.